Fadi Shamoon, student at Loughborough uh, back in 2000, did a five year degree back then. Um, currently I work in financial services and back in 2013-14 started to fall into love with training uh, for running and then built my way up. Started to want to get fitter um, both physically and mentally. Um, started very slowly, a few Ks here and there and it's just built up. And back then I watched the James Cracknell uh, Discovery Channel um, film around his Marathon de Saab uh, attempt and that just triggered me to want to aspire to that at some point. So here I am. As part of my uh, planning and training for Marathon de Saab, I wanted to get acclimated to, to heat knowing that temperatures in a desert would exceed 30, 40 degrees. Doing some research as to which facilities around the country were available, whether it's proximity or, or, or quality, Loughborough came up. Uh, the heat chambers, I believe, were used by the GB team for Tokyo. Not only have they got the heat chambers, but if you needed to do any of your VO2 testing, uh, lactate threshold testing, the facilities are also there. This morning, I had a strength and conditioning session as well as some advice around nutrition. All the facilities are here and, and, and supercharged from when I was here you know, 20 years ago. Uh, it's just world class and, and lucky to be here. Fadi's come back today and he's redoing one of the tests that we've previously done. At the moment in particular he's doing the submax test where we will work him all the way from sort of his easy warm-up paces, his easy run paces, up to some of his higher intensity interval work. We'll use four to six minute stages to be able to uh, each different intensity or each different pace. See how his heart rate, his blood lactate, um, his oxygen uptake and CO2 being produced responds to those different intensities. And from that we can identify a number of thresholds as well as look at his fuel utilisation during the testing to try and optimise his training and obviously see what work he needs to do before his, uh, his marathon. So Marathon to Sub is uh, what we'd call an ultra race. Uh, it's in the Sahara Desert. You probably will cover around 250 kilometres, so roughly around six uh, marathon distances in across physically five days of running. Um, temperatures can exceed, and they did in a couple of editions. I think this, uh, the 35th of edition was around 50, 55 degrees. Uh, you're obviously running in sand. It's self-sufficient, so you have to have your backpack with your sleeping system, with your food. Uh, your water is rationed, and you're sleeping in a bivouac. Uh, you know, in the desert and it's spectacular.